What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. So, getting ready for New England's. This is a recovery lift. Start off with some deadlifts. 5 sets of 10, 225. It was good. Nice and easy. You got the blood moving. You got a little finger workout. Nothing crazy, but it's a recovery workout, you know? So, the purpose of, of the recovery is obviously is to recover. And uh, just move blood around and feel good. Now, my squats have been feeling better. Not as good as uh, when I've been powerlifting, when I was powerlifting. But that's to be expected. You know, uh, arm wrestling is a very, it's very unique. Just like powerlifting is very unique. Um, the very, in terms of uh, shoulder stress, they're, I would say they're complete opposites, ends of the spectrum. You know, if, uh, look at powerlifting, you always want your shoulders retracted and uh, decompressed. You always want your shoulders back. You know, you always want to have that good posture. But in arm wrestling, most of the time you're, you're rounded forward, you're slouching. Now, I'm not saying that's the best uh, position for arm wrestling. I'm just saying that you're going to find yourself in that position a lot of the time when you're arm wrestling. So I think that's one of the reasons why uh, I've been having shoulder pain while I've been squatting. Not a problem, you know, just something to work around. Now I also think uh, I've been adding a little bit more muscle mass to my upper body, which is a good problem. You know, I think that's also causing some pain. Now, as you saw before, we just did some jumps. Um, I I've been enjoying the jump training. The reason why I started putting jump training um, in my training is this is my thought process. If I could, if I could uh, jump and move my body weight fast, then on the table I'm gonna have no problem uh, leaving that ready to go because it's it's, uh, it's a little bit less, you know, a little bit less in terms of uh, I'm not leaving the ground. I can still pivot and generate lots of power. Now the reverse hyper is good. It's a good exercise. Now the reason why um, I'm doing it and Sam and Brendan are not doing the weight is because it's, this is the first time trying this exercise. And uh, the reverse hyper, it's a very good exercise, but if done incorrectly, it could be a very, very dangerous exercise. Pretty much like any, pretty much like any exercise. Um, but the reason why I'm not having uh, Brendan and Sam do it using the weight is because, you know, uh, uh, they they uh, joined my training. And uh, I don't have time to teach them how to use the machine without sacrificing my training. And uh, I can't do that, you know. Now, if these guys were clients, if, they, if these guys were my athletes, I would definitely teach them. To, to use the reverse hyper the right way. It would probably take me a couple minutes each person. I would have to drop down the weight. I'd probably, probably drop down about 70 pounds and start from there. But since uh, these two decided to join my training, uh, my training is a priority during these uh, three hours. And that's good. So, all that being said, these two lovebirds are going to do some body weight hypers. So, as you can see, Peasley had, a, he had fun. He had a good set. <laughs> now it's his girlfriend's turn. Now it's fun. Now, now it's a fun time. So if I'm not mistaken, I 
think uh, I have them do 30 second reps and then 30 second holds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it was good. So what she's doing right here is she's keeping her abs tight and she's bracing and she's lifting her legs up with her glutes. Her hamstrings gonna be working, her calves are gonna be working, but what you wanna focus on is using your glutes uh, to lift your legs. Now your lower back is also gonna be tight, but it, and not, uh, not tight in terms of range of motion. You don't want too much extension after this. Like this is the end range. She could definitely go higher with the lower back, but uh, the way the lower back is working right now is it's working through uh, stability. So it's working 100%, but it's working to keep that lumbar spine stable. And her glutes are getting uh, the majority of the workout. Now, this this is uh, this was fun in a messed up kind of way. Anybody that knows this, this is the uh, that fit chick workout. You put that little band around your leg. You use a band. You can also, I mean, you can do it with a cable machine. I like the band because... Uh, Especially for time set, you can just go back and forth. If you have a, like for me, I have a problem where uh, my right glute pumps up faster than my left glute. So here, I can kind of even that out. I can focus on the eccentric and the concentric of both directions. And it was good training. So I appreciate Brendan and Sam coming out to join my training. Lots of gains. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you around. Keep training hard.